I'm not here to uh, to lay a guilt trip on anybody. I'm not here to uh, uh, give you any slogans. What I'm here to do is uh, to uh, hopefully uh, talk up uh, a little bit of unity in this in this place uh, before uh, before we get to really, really, really. Um, and uh, I might add there too that Sixto um, uh, is much loved in South Africa, but um, you will notice too that over the last few years he's um, made a habit of coming down under, and um, that is simply because he loves this place, he loves the people, that means you and it means me. And um, so, you know, hopefully um, uh, you're all going to give him a really big, warm Sydney welcome and um, carry him through it, you know? Um, although uh, I don't consider myself to be in the same class as Sugar Man, um, I'm a little bit of a poet and philosopher myself, and and um, yeah, um, I had um, some poetry for you tonight, uh, uh, and it'll only be brief. I wanted to share with you, uh, uh, as I said before, um, not to make anybody feel guilty. Uh, I don't want to preach to you either. I just uh, want to share share an idea with you, and the idea very simply is uh, that, uh, this, that it's not black, it's not white, we're all in it together, it's Australian. Yeah. I'm Riverbank Frank, uh, I'm, a, a, I'm an elder from the Wiradjuri Nation in Central Western New South Wales. I'm very proud of my heritage, but um, as I just alluded, I'm also very proud to be Australian. And um, and uh, yeah, I long, I long for the day when I work in community and out there in the West, and I work with a lot of kids and. Um, I look, I look forward to the day when uh, a lot of those kids are Indigenous kids and I look forward to the day when those kids, as well as knowing about their culture, their dreaming, their stories and that, uh, will be able to live in a, in a place where they feel good about being able to say, yeah, I'm Wiradjuri, I'm Bunchlung, I'm this or I'm that, but mostly I'm Australian. Because really, that's what we all are, and um, you know, we're made up of a lot of different people from a lot of different places. But I think, uh, really, that's a that's a good thing. And um, as well as being proud of my heritage and proud to be Australian, uh, I'm proud also to uh, to be what I consider a, an activist for reconciliation. Reconciliation to me is not a guilt trip. It's not a trip where I lay a sad history on you and for the rest of our time you feel bad about being white and it gives me some kind of special status. That's not reconciliation. To reconcile with each other is to find the common ground. And I do that, I do that in the belief that your story matters just as much as mine. You matter just as much as me. We all matter. <laughs> this is Australia. And uh, I don't say black lives matter, I say all lives matter. <laughs> what I'm trying to do, people, is build a bridge between your world and mine. And, uh, you know, when there's a bridge, uh, it makes the crossing over easier. And um, so that's what I'm about. And 
Yeah, I've taken a little bit of your time. I'm very, very grateful to uh, Sugar Man for allowing me this time. I thank Sugar Man and his management. Uh, and um, yeah, I thank you for bearing with me. Uh, and if I may, out there in the audience somewhere, uh, there's a sister of mine, and uh, if you see her, say good day. She's um, uh, covered in head to foot, clad head to toe, rather, and uh, she's a Muslim woman, but um, from Indonesia, actually. And but uh, she's uh, we got to know each other over time, and she's a sister of mine, really. Uh, I, I call. Uh, I call her, I call her Nina, Nina, Willa Waratri. The Willa is the possum, that's me clan. And yeah, she's a possum. Nina, if you're out there, sister, this is how we do it in Australia, and I love you. I wrote this in the 1990s in Western Sydney when I was working uh, in community with Aboriginal kids. I wrote it in a situation where one of our kids had been murdered and, yeah, died pretty violently. Um, the other group were Islander kids and I, I tried to, the kids had asked me to write something for uh, the brother that, our young brother that we had to bury. And um, so, uh, I had to try and write something that would honour the life of this young fella that would speak against the violence and it would maybe point some way forward out of the, the madness that we were in at the time. What I wrote was Bridges. Uh, fast forward 10 years uh, from the 1990s and I was in Dubbo. Uh, out of Dubbo I uh, started the, uh, I founded the uh, community men's shed. Uh, there's about six or seven hundred men's sheds Australia-wide now. The men's shed in Dubbo is uh, the only one to my knowledge in this country uh, whose logo is a black and white handshake. And um, one of the guys at the shed saw the poem that I'd written and um, they adopted it as their official men's shed poem. So it's spun me out to think that a poem I'd written for Aboriginal kids in Mount Druid in Western Sydney could also speak to mostly old, mostly white men uh, in, in the men's shed in Dubbo. That's when I realised that it really was a poem for humanity. So uh, uh, this is a last night that I'll be uh, with Rodriguez. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm gonna share um, something with you now that um, hopefully will uh, get you in the mood for the great man and have you feeling good about who we are and where we live because I tell you, this is the best place on earth. <laughs> Preachers. Now listen up you fellas, listen up and settle down because there has to be some changes right here in this town. There's too much aggression. It desecrates the land. Let's build a bridge instead. Let's try to understand. We're all indigenous from somewhere on this earth. We're all connected to this tiny bit of dirt. Culture can live side by side. It only takes respect. Let's build that bridge together. It's not completed yet. Away with prejudice and gang violence. This is not the USA. There's culture in this country and an easier, better way. We can make it happen, providing there's respect. Let's build that bridge together. It's not completed yet. Love you. Thank you.
Christopher. Thank you, thank you. Just like Archie sings, let love roll. Love your people, have a great night.